Hey guys, welcome back to the Prehistoric Life Podcast, and today we're back with another battle for the tournament, closing in on the semifinals. This is, if I'm not mistaken, hang on, let me check my notes. We have this battle and one more battle. Well, actually, we have this battle, and then it'll be the semifinals for this half of the this half of the um bracket so we have this battle that we're at now and then we're at the semifinals so let's go ahead and dive on in with the tarbusaurus versus ankylosaurus so we're gonna dive on in with tarbusaurus coming in at a whopping three and a half meters tall which is about 11.5 ish so 11 and a half feet if you will um Coming in at a whopping 12 meters long, which is about 39 to 40 ish feet long. Coming in at a whopping weight of 4.5 to 5 metric tons, which is about 5 to 5.5 short tons, with a whopping bite force of 13,298 newtons in the front and 2,453 newtons in the back, which is equivalent to 1.5 tons in the front and 2.5. Seven three in the back. A study in this is a 2022 study. So Tarbosaurus has a heck of a bite force. It is the six sister taxon to the Tyrannosaurus. So it it's got a lot in common with it. It's the Asian Rex, if you will. That well. Asia Tyrannus is the Asian T Rex, if you want to get technical, which is a new species that was you know, discovered. But this is the the original Asian Tyrannosaurus. Um, this thing is tall, heavy, with a powerful bite force. But let's go ahead and jump right into Ankylosaur. This Ankylosaurus. If I can find it. Maybe. Hang on. Coming in at a whopping, this is going to be a drastic difference. Two and a half, or well, one and a half meters, which is about four or five foot, which is about five foot. (laughs) And about six meters long, which is about 20 feet. Coming in at a weight of of 4.8. To eight metric tons, which is about 5.3 to 8.8 short tons. And with a crazy ability to swing itself around, according to a 2009 study, an ankylosaurus tail club could strike with an impact force of 7,281 to 14,360 newtons and an impulse of up to 4,800 newtons per second. This is comparable to hitting something with a bowling ball uh, for small clubs and strong enough to crush bones of large clubs. However, dinosaur fossils uh, show little evidence of injury that match these impacts. For example, if a blow from an ankylosaurus club, tail club, broke a bone, damage would likely be limited to the direct impact area. This suggests that the blow may have been very precise or that the tail club wasn't designed to deliver heavy impacts. But we're, for the for the purpose of this we're going to say it say it very much so is. So I forgot to kind of open this up. There's Ankylosaurus and there is Tarbusaurus. So we're going to go ahead and dive on into this after this short message break from, you know, our sponsors. Thanks, Podcast Eric. Now let's talk about today's sponsor, Dinosaur Trips. If you love looking at these amazing creatures that I show you and even talking about these amazing creatures that I talk about and you want to go see them in real life, I heavily suggest you look at Dinosaur Trips. Dinosaur Trips created by Zach gives you behind the scenes in look at museums and he even takes people out to digs 
So if you sound interested in that, go to www.dinosaurtrips.com and tell them that Prehistoric Life sent you and they will give you $250 off your tickets. And here's their Instagram if you're interested in giving them a follow. Well, let's go ahead and dive on into this battle with hopefully a bloody end. But before we discuss that, I do want to say one more thing about Ankylosaur. It is used to fighting things technically larger and more powerful than Tarbusaurus, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, with a bite force of like 35,000 PSI, which is absolutely insane. And the fact that the tail club of the Ankylosaurus swing can rival that of the Tarbusaurus bite force, which is which is bonkers. It's completely insane. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. A lone Tarbusaurus is stalking its prey, an ankylosaur feasting. Its osteoderms glistening in the sun. The Tarbusaurus sprints up thinking it's just another prey as it tries to bite down on the ankylosaurus the osteoderms protect it the tarbusaurus crunches down on the osteoderms as a light tail club swing smashes into the snout of the tarbusaurus making it back up a little bit in pain the tarbusaurus roars at the ankylosaurus charging in again the ankylosaurus lowers its body putting the osteoderms out as it hits its tail against the ground a couple good times swinging at the tarbusaurus the Tarbusaurus dodges, but its leg is, is not... The Tarbusaurus dodges the hit aimed at its body, but its leg is in the way, and the Ankylosaurus smashes its tail club right into the knee of the Tarbusaurus, sending the bone through the leg on the other side. Tarbusaurus screams out in pain and agony as it tries to step back, stumbling over. Roaring at the Ankylosaurus, it charges in, biting the back of the Ankylosaurus, gnawing and chewing, ripping some of the osteoderms out. But Ankylosaurus is not going to let Tarbosaurus just chew through it. It spins around, whacking it in the face, breaking a lot of teeth out and dislocating its bottom jaw. Tarbosaurus in pure pain shuffles back, not knowing what to do. It charges in for headbutts, ramming into the side. Actually cracking its own skull a little bit as it bleeds from its forehead. Ankylosaurus is unbudging. It outweighs Tarbusaurus. Tarbusaurus standing there, bleeding from its knee and bottom jaw. Ankylosaurus spins around, cracking its tail club right into the side, shattering rib bone into the lungs of Tarbusaurus. As Tarbusaurus limps off into the woods, Ankylosaurus snorts after it. In the, de in the depths of the woods, Tarbosaurus rolls over, bleeding out, dying. So, yeah, this is a little bit of a, I don't want to say a no-brainer. So, Tarbosaurus is just a smaller Tyrannosaurus Rex. I say smaller, but relatively speaking, it is smaller. It is weaker. Um, T-Rex struggled to hunt Ankylosaurus and most likely didn't mess with Ankylosaurus. So a smaller, weaker version doesn't really stand a chance against an ankylosaurus. So yeah, it's kind of like all right. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe it has a chance because it's more nimble or something. But it's it's not. It's it's the bite the bite fork of the bite fork the bite force of Tarbosaurus is not a joke. Don't don't think I'm saying that like Tarbosaurus is a joke. I'm just saying ankylosaurus is a literal living tank with a bone pulverizer on the end of it. So just just kind of let that sink in for a little bit. But if you want to see more content from me, go check out my Instagram. You can see reels, posts. You can see what's coming up in the week. I try to stay at post there regularly. Um, if you want to see my content two-ish days in advance, go check out my YouTube. Um, from there, well, from my YouTube, you can see all my content. I try to post it there earlier um, than everywhere else. And if you want all of my content in one place, go check out my website, prehistoriclifepodcast.com. From there, you can get to my YouTube and my Instagram, and you should be able to just kind of search and scroll around until you see it. My Instagram is at the bottom. Um, you can see all these 
amazing interviews and battles and things that I have posted and done. Um, but yeah, till next time, I'm your host, Eric Crawford, signing off. This has been Prehistoric Life Podcast. And remember, keep it prehistoric. Bye. <laughs>